Hey everybody, Dr. Oliver here for BackIntelligence.com and today we're going to go over an exercise that's going to work on the glutes, specifically the lateral stabilizers of your hips. It's a lateral band walk. If you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe button to get access to videos as we put them out. So the lateral band walks, common exercise prescribed all over the world to strengthen and stabilize the hips and the glutes, produces a lot of effect for protecting your knees, also great for your back. We want to make sure we're doing it the right way. So people will do these exercises and they'll put the bands in different spots. You'll see people put the bands above their knees, you'll see people put the bands above their on their ankles and also on their feet. So we'll look at Leon here and we'll see where he's got all three bands, right? So there's three positions. Generally, just above your knee, you'll see it there. For a lot of people, people prefer that. Some people love the ankle right here and actually some people put it on the feet. Research was done a few years ago that actually tried to determine which way, which position was at better at activating these glutes. What they found was it was significantly better to put it on your feet, actually, to activate those glutes because your tendency to want to push the band apart activates those external rotators and those lateral stabilizers of your hip. Now, even though that's the case, I generally will have patients start with the band just above their knees. The reason for that is because the band just above your knees forces you to keep those knees apart. One little problem you'll see with people doing this exercise is that their knees will actually come in a bit. So I think it's better off to start here and then as you get more proficient, move the band down. So we're gonna have Leon start there first. All right, so we're gonna go through the lateral band walk again. I usually start people out with the band just above the knee. So that's where we're gonna go with it right now with Leon. As you get proficient, you can slide it down. So we're gonna have the band above the knees. We're gonna sit into a nice kind of athletic position. The weight's gonna shift to our heels a bit. We're gonna feel like we get loading up the backside a bit. We'll have Leon turn face the door so we can see this. So he's in a nice athletic position, his chest is forward. He's not leaning forward. One thing you'll see people do a lot with this is lean forward. You wanna sit up nice and tall, weights into your heels. You should feel the backside of you activating a little bit. And we'll have Leon face the camera again. Now one thing we often see with this and is taught with this is that people will kind of pull with their leg, right? So they'll kind of pull the band with their front leg. I don't teach it that way. When I teach it, I have you drive with your back leg. So here we're pushing off our back leg. So we're not pulling, we're actually driving through our back leg to make us move. The reason we do that is because if you think about it, in anything athletic, anything we do, we push off our back leg. We're driving to the, we're doing anything. We're specifically gonna push off the back. We're not gonna pull ourselves with the front. So we want that power coming from the back and you're gonna get better glute activation on the stability leg while still getting activation on the up leg too. So we're gonna have Leon do a couple. I'm getting the center here for us. So again, he's sitting in an athletic position. He's making sure his knees don't come in. That's why the band is on your knees. He's leaning a little to his left as he drives, good, and he's gonna push off as he goes. Good, he's keeping his, level, his hips nice and level. He's not tilting a lot with his pelvis. And he gets to the end, he drives back. So now he's pushing with his right leg. So he's always pushing with his right leg. His left leg is pulling, but his right leg's the driver. It's pushing him over. So find an area that's decently big, 20, 30 feet, work yourself back and forth at this. And again, you should be targeting those lateral stables, your glute max too, your glute medius on the side. And again, that's where you should feel all this. You don't want to feel your quads loading up a lot. If you are, you're probably too far forward. You really want to make sure you're sitting back into it. All right, so try these little tweaks on this really good exercise. Start with it above your knees, but yes, progress with it down to your ankles and then finally on your toes to get really get that glute activation as high as possible. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like it and share it with a friend. Also, research shows that strengthening your core area can help relieve some of that low back pain that you're feeling, but it's important to know which exercises specifically to do and how, uh, and you want these exercises to be both effective and safe for your spine, and we have just the PDF for that. So if you'd like to get a free PDF of core exercises that are safe for your spine and are very effective, there's gonna be a link to get them somewhere here on the video or down below in the description. Just go to that page, enter your email, and we'll send you that PDF right away.